In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In him was life, and life was the light of men. He said, I am Alpha and Omega, Christ the Lord. Yea, even I am he, the beginning and the end, the Redeemer of the world. He said, Whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. He said, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth in me shall never thirst. He said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus Christ is the way. He is light and life bread and water, the beginning and the end, the resurrection and the life, the Savior of the world, the truth and the way. There is only one way to happiness and fulfillment. He is the way. Every other way, whatever other way, any other way, is madness. He offers a well of living water. Either we drink and never thirst more, or we don't, and foolishly remain thirsty still. He is the bread of life. Either we eat and hunger no more, or we don't, and foolishly remain weak and hungry still. He is the light of the world. Either we follow him and see clearly, or we don't, and foolishly remain blind and in darkness still. He is the resurrection and the life. He said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Either we learn of him and have life more abundantly, or we don't, and foolishly remain dead still. He is the Savior of the world. Either we accept the blessings of His atonement and are made clean and pure, worthy to have His Spirit, or we don't and foolishly remain alone and filthy still. He is the way. We believe in God the Eternal Father and in His Son, Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Ghost. The plan of the Father was implemented by the Son, that we may have the Spirit of the Holy Ghost. The way of the Father is the way of the Son. He said, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Only God can bless us. Only He can sustain us. Only He can cause our heart to beat and give us breath. Only He can preserve and protect us. Only He can give us strength to bear up the burdens of life. Only He can give us power, knowledge, peace, and joy. Only He can forgive our sins. Only He can heal us. Only He can bring us back into the presence of the Father. And He will do all of that and much more if we but remember Him to keep his commandments. What then shall we do? We will remember him to keep his commandments. It is the only intelligent thing to do. John the Baptist said that while he baptized with water, Jesus baptized with the Holy Ghost. 
Nothing in this life is of greater worth than the supernal gift of the Holy Ghost. It is the source of joy, peace, knowledge, strength, and every other good thing. With the atonement, it is the power by which we may be changed and made strong, wherein we are weak. It is the power by which the Lord makes himself manifest unto those who believe in him. Every good thing depends on getting and keeping the power of the Holy Ghost in our lives. Everything depends on that. To that end, the Lord entered a garden called Gethsemane. Gethsemane. 